watch the field behind the plow Turn to straight dark rows Feel the trickle in your clothes Blow the dust cakes from your nose Hear the tractor steady roar No, you can't stop now With a quarter section more or less to go Hey guys, we're back for another video with Wyatt's Tractor Sales. Um, today we're going to work on the Farmall Super MTA again. Uh, we did a World Start video this summer on it. Um, we did sell it, and uh, in order to get it on the trailer of the buyer, uh, we're going to have to move the front or the back wheels in, and uh, we're going to show you guys how to do that. We've already done one side, uh, so we'll go ahead and show you how to do it on this side. So I'm going to loosen these bolts here to loosen these wedges which hold the wheels onto the axle. See that one didn't loosen. They do not want to go from the air socket so we're going to have to use a breakover bar on them. It's over there. I don't like to go back there. Now when you're doing this on a breakover bar, you can apply a pipe to get more leverage. And just like that, they come loose. Now I got these outer, I mean the inside two loosened. On it. Now that I got these good, I'm going to go back to using the air, air socket. Before we attempted to loosen these, we sprayed some free all, which is a a little better WD-40, in my opinion. And I'll go ahead and put a link to that product in the description. Alright, looks like we got those nice and loose. Yep. Now we're going to work on the outside ones. Put the camera around, Sam. All right, so the outside ones. So the outside ones, um, they have a um, little less amount of space to work with, especially with the wheel weight there. And uh, to avoid taking the wheel weight out, it is a little more complicated, but um, we're going to go ahead and try it. 
uh, we were able to get the other ones out without taking the wheel weight off, so uh, we should be able to do it with this one too. I want to move the camera so I don't knock it out. Should be fine. Yeah, bam. easier than the other ones. Mm -hmm. I don't think I need the pipe no more. So I know you've been mechanic a lot lately. Uh, what else have you been working on? Well, here recently, uh, back in January, I bought a, another farm on cub, which I think Wyatt might put a video out on. So stay tuned for it. I believe it, if I remember right, it's the 1948. And I bought it with a little Boland's plow and a brush hog. Yeah, I think it's a model 412 bush hog brand. Right? Yeah, I, I believe that's right. And I think they was made actually for the, them little cubs. I bought it running and done a little work to it. and Hopefully I can just finish it off. Is that turn loose yet? With the wedge? Yeah. I don't think. Okay, the wedge is loose now. So now I have the four bolts loose and now it's ready to slide in. But first to make it slide easier, I'm going to spray some free all on the axle. Maybe you don't waste it all. <laughs> to make it slide easier. And the free all will just make it slide easier. I don't know if this is the correct way of doing it, but it's my way. Started, I measured it and we had it, we got a slide in seven inches. So we're gonna leave the wheels about a half inch from this axle housing. That's good. We come out a little bit, I think. Yeah. But we want it. That's 
about where the other one is, so okay. I think all it good. All right. And then, uh, then we'll go ahead and get those four bolts tightened back up, and it should be ready to go. Give me a wrench, Holly. Might be quicker. I don't know what size it is. An inch? It's an inch. Alright. Yeah, open end wrench would make it easier. I'll just snug them up here and let Ollie come all over and put the finishing tighten his tightening uh, arm. Alright, get your breakable bars. Yeah, that might help. One more. Oh. Pull the pipe back a little bit. Always get the leverage with a pipe and a breaker bar. Alright, well, I don't think I should do it. Smoke it up pretty good. Check the inside ones.
I'm sure you guys have noticed how uh, um, rough this tire looks, but um, surprisingly it does still hold air and, and uh, it's still fairly usable. Of course, uh, the buyer is going to put new tires on it, but um, it, I mean, for the time that we've had it, it's, it's held air. All right, you done? That's all I can think to do. All right, well, put it down and... As they say, that's all she wrote for this one. Oh, you want to start it and drive it? No, well, I can. Well, I think I you, you should. Take it too far. Yeah. 